Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna talk a little bit about different pilot licenses and ratings you can get while doing your training here in Canada. If you're new to the channel, my name is Pedro, I'm from Brazil, I'm an international student here in Vancouver, Canada, and I'm getting my pilot training done here in Pitt Meadows with Canadian Aviation College. If you're just getting started in aviation, it might be a little bit confusing all the different licenses you can get as a pilot. So today I'm gonna explain all of them one by one so you can have a better understanding on what's going on and what licenses you can get in order to chase your dreams. First, I'll do all the licenses and then I'm gonna move to the ratings. Starting from the zero, you can get your recreational pilot permit. Uh, maybe you're not too sure if aviation is something you're gonna do for the rest of your life or even as a hobby and you just wanna wet your toes in the pool before jumping in. And the recreational pilot license is a good way to do that. You can fly, you can take your friends flying. Uh, if you take it in Canada, you can only fly Canadian aircraft it's inside Canada. Uh, and I think you're restricted to fly only during daytime VFR. I'm not 100% sure on that, so if you know something more, please let me know down in the comment, but as far as I know, it's something with more restrictions. You can have fun, you can fly with your friends, but you cannot do everything a private pilot can do. Moving up, you have PPL, Private Pilot License. With a PPL, you can take your friends, you can take your family, you can fly at night if you have a night rating, you can even get your instrument rating, you, you can have your multi-engine rating. So with a private license, you can do basically anything you want, but you cannot work as a pilot. You can do whatever you want, you can buy any plane you want, you can even buy a fighter jet if you find one for sale and you have enough money but you cannot charge people to fly with you. Maybe you have to travel a lot for business and you rather fly. Maybe you have friends and you guys wanna share a plane. Maybe you have a family and you wanna go on trips. A lot of people that have their PPL, they travel around the country, maybe even around the planet. You can go anywhere with it. If you're flying a Canadian aircraft, you can go around the planet, it doesn't really matter. Again, just as I said, if you have your night rating and your instrument rating, you can do basically whatever you want. You can go anywhere you want but you cannot make money with it. After the PPL, you have CPL, Commercial Pilot License. With the CPL, you can do everything I just said about the PPL, but you can work, you can make money. You can buy a little plane and take cargo, you can transport passengers, you can work as an instructor, you can do dust cropping, pipeline patrol, whatever job you find, you can do because you're a commercial pilot. You can work as an instructor, you can be the guy that takes skydivers to jump off the plane, you can do cargo transport, you can do anything if you have the ratings to do those things. Being a commercial pilot doesn't necessarily mean that you work for the airline. There are tons of jobs other than the airlines. And that's where people get a little confused. They think once you do your PPL and your CPL, you're done and you're gonna be a captain. And that's not the case. To be a captain, you need a few other steps. After CPL, we have ATPL, that means Airline Transport Pilot's License. And that means that you can work for the airlines, you can be the captain in an airline. Without the ATPL, you can still work with big jets, but you're not gonna be the captain, you can be the second in command of some planes. So with the ATPL licenses, you're gonna have the job that people call commercial pilot. You're gonna fly for an airline, even though commercial pilots can do anything. So there you go, for the license you have recreational, private, commercial, and airline transport. What about the ratings? So let's say you have a private license and you wanna fly a twin engine plane, like the Piper Seneca I'm starting to fly with my school. You can get a multi-engine rating. That means that you can fly planes with more than one engine now. You can do that as a PPL holder or as a CPL holder, it doesn't matter. If you wanna buy your own plane and fly it privately with your friends and family, maybe you travel for business or you wanna take your family around, two engines might be nice, it's safer. What about instrument rating? So with instrument rating, you no longer need to fly only on visual flight rules. You don't have to keep track of where you are visually looking down the ground, looking for mountains, rivers and cities. You can just fly following your instruments. So you can fly inside clouds, you don't need to see what's going on outside. You can trust and rely only on your instruments. And you can do the instrument ratings with a multi-engine plane or with a single engine plane. If you do your single engine IFR, you're only able to fly IFR in single engine planes. But if you do it with a multi-engine plane, multi-IFR, then you can fly IFR with a twin engine plane or a multi-engine plane. 
So if your plan is to work transporting passengers or cargo with bigger planes, you're gonna need a multi-IFR rating. In Canada, float rating is a big thing, uh, especially around BC. How many lakes in Canada? Wow. Okay, Canada has 2 million lakes. Um, but anyway, Canada has a lot of lakes, a lot of islands. How many islands in Canada? Okay, so Canada has 52,000 islands. Float ratings are pretty popular here. You can get your float rating done in a week or so if you have the time and money to do it. You don't need that many hours to get your float rating done. So it's pretty good, especially if you live in a place like Canada. It might be really nice. The last rating I'm going to talk about is instructor rating. With this rating, you're able to teach people how to fly and to get their license. I'm working my way towards that. Uh, right now, I'm doing my multi-IFR, so I'm flying the Piper Seneca with the school. And it's been really fun. It's a nice learning curve. And I'm going to do my instrument rating also in the Piper Seneca. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to start my instructor rating. I'm really excited to become a flight instructor to teach you guys how to fly. A uh, few of you already made your way to Canada and it's really nice to see the people that were once watching my videos are now here flying in the same school as I am. That's really cool. And so yeah, later on this year I'll be ready to be an instructor and I'm really excited for it. So yeah, if you have any questions about pilot training here in Canada, send me a message on Instagram and I'll reply everyone. This year I'm making a video per week every week, so don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and I'll see you next week, alright? Thank you.